Hello and welcome back to Recursive Gaming, where we are continuing our campaign hero missions uh, in the career mode for MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries, the new DLC, Heroes of the Inner Sphere. So this is part one of the Steiner uh, Reputation 12 Restricted Hero Campaign Missions. And we're going to do part one right now. Uh, we're targeting one of the relay stations that Stans has occupied. Uh, we believe it is used for triangulating coordinates of, for his nuclear launch. Time to take it out. Uh, I was really tempted to go Seabills, except um, the difficulty is now, I think, the highest difficulty in the game. Our tonnage limit is the max. Uh, I think we're coming up on high tier weapons in these missions uh, I think there's a good chance that there's going to be high tier weapons in these missions so I'm going to go for salvage and uh, here we go let's see do I want to run the gauss rifles I do want to take the new Corsair the question is what mech is going to be or where is it going to go who's going to be piloting it Uh, so far, the victor is the lightest armored. Looks like we're going to replace the victor. Okay. So, do I want to pilot? Yeah, we'll try to get some headshots with the Gauss rifles. Alright, so we're slightly under tonnage, but not that bad. Uh, we're running good variant mechs with uh, very heavy armor, so it's about as good as we're going to get. Let's go ahead and do this. i got to wait 94 days to finish retrofitting the Corsair. So we paid 700,000 sea bills, but I think it's worth it. The Corsair is an excellent hero mech. It's the heaviest tonnage hero mech we've gotten from the hero campaign missions so far. And it's also the craziest most ridiculous uh, mech variants I've seen which is kind of the theme right it's a pirate mech so uh, yeah it's pretty cool for a pirate mech I like it quite a bit the only thing is I need some better tier auto cannons to put on it because right now it's running a Gauss rifle plus an AC-20 burst fire and I'd like the auto cannons to be the same, so they can be in the same weapon group. Probably double Gauss. Or maybe double AC-20. Thanks. But, if I do say so, we are a pretty cool assault lance fighting force. That Corsair is ugly looking, but really cool at the same time. Look at that thing. Awesome. I think it's just mean looking, huh? Anyways, can't wait to get that thing with the proper build on it. And I might pilot it myself, running double Gauss or who knows what, double AC-20, just ripping stuff apart. But we got a bit of a walk. In Assault Mix, these tend to take a while. So keep our eyes open for enemies. Now that's pretty cool with that mountain range right there, and the backdrop, and then the the uh, city in front of it. That's pretty picturesque, huh? With the uh, lightning and the clouds behind it. It's pretty cool looking. Alright, let's see if we can snipe a mech without hitting the Cyclops. And... That'll do it! 
We did it, guys. Even I can get a lucky shot every now and then, huh? See right to the face. Yep, and there was a reason it looked like it came right at my face. It was a headshot. Which I would say is ironic, but it happens so often to this mech, it's not even funny anymore. Alright, I don't want to hit my own mechs. Oh, he just ejected. Okay. Can I just go through this wall? Yes. Assault mix for the win. Five percent. He's running the large Kim lasers. That was the Goss rifle. Cool whip out effect, huh? All right, let's see if I can headshot this guy or get a center torso shot. Center torso, double Gauss. That was side torso, so not the best shot. Yikes, that was some heavy damage. Okay. Aww. Oh, this is an Irby. Hello, Irby. One shot took out your uh, AC-10, so kind of screwed, aren't you? Alright, that'll do it. 19% health on that city. Yeah, wonder if we can pick out these small little turrets up top. Yep, we sure can. We can take out the big ones, too. Ten percent left. One percent, we did it. Okay, before we leave, I want to see what the uh but next we get to drop down. See if I can't get a good shot off him. It'd be awesome. That's eh, a decent shot. Alright, give me another good shot. Alright. 
me take this guy out. Yeah, it's just a little rifleman. Oh, come on. This guy's remaining up a lot longer than he should. Yeah, we got him. Let's get out of here. Three million Seville payout. We cannot pick up the charger. Tier three weapons, guys. If uh, I had managed to get that guy, but they're all short lasers. Uh, terrible variant. One of the worst variants in the game. Eighty tons of worthlessness. This guy has tier zero weapons. Tier one. So unfortunately, it wasn't really worth it. But I'll take the tier four medium laser and these weapons. So that's kind of unfortunate. We didn't really get good salvage out of this one. Tier 4 are in 2s. Not sure it's worth it, honestly. Kind of leaning towards not worth it, but... I'll take it anyways. Okay. I was really hoping for better salvage there. Pulled out a thousand damage in the Corsair. He destroyed in the damage. Much better than the uh, King Crab with four large lasers. I uh, can't remember what else he has. An LRM 15 and uh, LB 10. He did really good damage. Okay, part two. We previously thought that the installation you disabled was used for triangulating targets for the Peacemaker. Unfortunately, it was a simple backup relay, which means that the other substations in this system are just as capable of firing the weapon of mass destruction. We've unearthed the location of another one of these stations. While you take it out, we will continue our search for the final relay station. Okay, so it looks like another base destruction. Um, it's going to cost us 125% more to repair here. Good thing we are close by a nice market. Now, I have not checked out this market or this one. I did check out this one. As you can see, there's no hero mechs here. Let's go see if there are hero mechs here. Okay. Mark it. Mm, I mean, that's kind of nice, but I'm not super impressed with anything here, really. Okay. Let's look here. Uh, double heat sinks. Four of them. I'll take it. As you can see, I am now up to owning 23 double heat sinks. That's how many I have in storage. So we're getting to where I can run as many double heat sinks on builds as I want. Don't really have to worry about it anymore. That's a good thing. Really nobody worth picking up in the barracks. Let's see. I can't get a cantina mission. I don't think I have any uh, availability. Just out of curiosity, all he's got is awesomes. So, any hero mix? No, no hero mix at this market. Let's go ahead and repair and get back to the questing. Do we have any better weapons? Not really. We just have the AC-20. And only one of them. See, if I had two of any one variant, I would just double up on that. But I had to mix it up, which I hate doing. But it's alright. Let's get back to the mission. Stop the launch, part two. Alright, here we 
we go. Salvage again. Hopefully we'll get some nice tier weapons. The nasty weather means your visibility Same team. Will be limited out there. And I'll be trying to go for some headshots. Haven't had much luck with that lately, but it's still a good mech. Interesting how that cuts out like that. I think that's a bug in the DLC. the danger. amount of drop off on that. He ran. Somebody got a hit. Alright, I think I can land a hit. Center torso. Wow. Huge FPS drop right there. Huge FPS drop right now. Massive. Overheated. That's interesting. I haven't seen that. Got him. Ooh, some good damage to these guys. the FPS drop guys. No idea what's going on. I'm gonna blame the DLC. It's acting a bit buggy on this mission. First, Rihanna couldn't even get her sentence out in the beginning of the mission. And then all this FPS drop for no reason.
Maybe there's just too much detail in the city? Who knows? Too many assets to load in the same place? Well, what makes this city different than any other? Yeah, it's not even that heavily populated of a city. Like, it's kind of empty in here. All that FPS drop doesn't make much sense. I think these are worth a lot of percentage for the city. Now the 22%. And all I've done is destroy a bunch of satellite dishes. I think we're taking off 4% or more with every single satellite dish. You guys keep destroying the base. I'm going to try and target this mech. That's what I'm good at. Or at least, that's what I try to be good at. Assassin, okay. I landed to hit on his leg. Center torso, that's what we like. I'll take that. Okay, we did it, guys. 1500 meters. Uh, all the way back where we started. That sucks. She couldn't even finish the sentence again. This way. Yep, there it is. Okay. It's a hit on its leg, I think. Center torso. Yeah, okay. Can I snipe? Man, that's a really small target. Side torso. I can barely see the thing. I want advanced zoom so bad. Uh, where is it going? Almost took out the leg. I think we're out of range for the large, la large laser on that. Center torso hit. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. Pretty easy mission, huh, guys? Not really much to it. Unfortunately, we really didn't take down any difficult targets. We weren't going against any great assault mechs or anything, so another mission with bad salvage, it looks like. Man, feels bad. I should have gone for Z Bills. Okay. What mech? I heard there was a mech on radar. I mean, more chances for salvage, right? I want salvage. Okay, here we go. Anything good? It's an archer. 
I could do with some high tier LRM 20s, but they're not Ar Artemis, so I take it back. I don't want it. Alright, let's just get out of here and head home. Maybe there's going to be some better salvage in the next mission, huh guys? I mean, this is a hero campaign mission. So, we are going to get a nice hero mech at the end of it. Right? So far, of all the hero campaign missions I've done, this this quest line, the most difficult one at uh, Reputation Rank 12, has been kind of disappointing. So let's hope Part 3 and Part 4 are better. See what we got. Let's see how much damage our team did. Three million sea bills. Uh, Centurion with tier one. All right, Locust with tier three, but I mean, I don't really need tier three machine guns. A tier four AC ten, tier four large laser. And now we're talking tier three AC twenty. Okay, okay. And some medium lasers, yes. Excellent. Alright, uh, don't want the AC5. I'll take the AC10, AC20, tier 4 large laser. Yeah, that's some nice salvage. Okay. I'll take it, plus the tier 4 medium lasers. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, no double heat sinks. Some more tier 4 SRM2s. Don't really care about this. Alright. We actually got some nice weapons, guys. I'll take it. Oh my gosh, check that out. The Corsair did more damage than me. That is awesome. Once I can get that thing fully built out with the build that I like, I think I might pilot that thing instead. That thing looks like a beast. It's putting out some serious damage. Very cool. Okay, so part three. Mercenary, we've crippled Stanza's ability to launch the Peacemaker, but he may still be planning to use the device manually. Our forces are scouring the area for the Peacemaker, but of equal importance is to secure the device's detonator. Our intel has it on good authority that Stanz passed the detonator down to someone within his inner circle for safekeeping. SAFE has provided us intel on potential safe houses. Your orders are to investigate each one until you find his inner circle and destroy them. Okay, so we're hunting down the big guys. Hopefully we're going to go up against a nice assault mech and get some salvage, right? We're gonna see what rare mech is there. We're gonna repair. Ooh, I think I saw. Hmm. This is not the variant I want. This is the variant I sold. I want the one with the heavy auto cannon. Okay, well, no mechs here for me. Let's check the marketplace. Uh, nothing. 
actually. That's tempting, guys. The Corsair is running a uh, tier 2 Goss. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's pick up the Goss rifle. And load it up on the Corsair. Uh, here we go. And I'll pilot. Um, well. Nah, I can continue piloting the uh, King Crab. I mean. I don't know. Alright, let's find it. Here it is. Okay, we're one ton over, but we're going to get rid of all the AC-20 ammo. Okay. There's 26 shots. Um, let's go ahead and buy some ammo. So we've got 52 shots. No, we don't because we're firing two Gauss. Yikes. What's six into 160? Six into 150 is, actually I don't know if six goes into 150. It's less than 30 rounds, that's 27 rounds or something like that. 20 something shots. That's okay I guess. Yeah, I want to take four tons of Gauss Rifle, I know that much. Hmm. Can I lower the armor somewhere? I can lower it further in the legs. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Hmm. One ton. You know, we don't need one of those heat sinks, do we? Because we're not pushing out very much heat. The chem lasers are heat efficient. The only thing pushing out heat is the SRM-6, which we're not going to be using as much as everything else. So we can just actually take off a heat sink, I think. Okay, damage went down a little bit. We lost the AC-20 burst fire. Cooling went down, armor went down but we're running double gauss. Okay. Why not, right? And actually, this thing was never even close to overheating. Why not give it a tier 4 PPC? And... Oh, man. Then we run into this problem. Armor in the legs is already low. Kind of don't want to take it any lower. I mean, if I lose a whole ton... Hmm. 
With that PPC, we'd be pushing out the heat a bit more. Actually, almost the same amount of heat. Ton for ton, the SRM6 is just so good. I don't use it quite that much. Oh, what to do, guys? Do I drop a double heat sink? Yikes, that's a lot of heat to lose. Okay, I guess we will do this and see how hot it runs. Hopefully it doesn't run too hot. Oh, can't. We're missing ammo for the SRM6. So we would have to lose that as well. That's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah, looks like we're just gonna put in the tier four large laser instead. Let's get a bit more damage, a bit more range. Oh well. What is this thing running again? Do we have any better weapons? Not really. Oh. What was that tier 4 PPC? Okay. This thing was not running hot. This thing was really, really, really heated. Well, actually, no. I remember we did overheat twice. Those large lasers push out pretty, pretty good amount of heat. Hmm. Yeah, this thing's fine. As is. We'll just repair and move on. All right. So this guy's running double Gauss now. I could pilot it if I felt like it. Question is, do I feel like it? Not really. Oh, here we go. No. The only thing this thing has going for it is an extra large chem laser as opposed to the single large laser. Otherwise, the Gauss rifles in this are a higher tier and they do more damage, and so is the SRM-6. Um, armor wise it's about the same or maybe the Corsair has a bit better armor hard to say man I guess I could pilot either one it doesn't really matter weapon groups we're going to pilot those Gauss rifles together I'm going to do that and then those can be done separately. Actually, no, it's not important. These can be done separately. Like so. Oh, I can chain fire these. That'll, that'll work. Okay. Let's go back. Contracts. Here we go. Let's see if we can get some better salvage again. Found the final weapon targeting base, but it's not enough to destroy any communication equipment. The whole thing needs to go. It's another destruction mission. Okay. Extreme weather warning is in effect, Commander. Yeah, I'll be piloting the headshot guy again. Hoping for options. some headshots. Could take him, but it's pretty much the same mech. Because this one's running the tier 4 Gauss rifles, I'll take him instead.
mech right off the bat. It's a uh, hunchback, medium laser variant. Well, we took out the wrong side, guys. I was aiming for the side tour, so I should have taken out the other one. Like that. Okay, where are we going? Multiple targets. Looks like we need to circle around the cliff, so I shouldn't be heading there. Should be heading straight this way. I've already taken some damage. Took a lot more damage from that hunchback than it looked like. Okay, AC5. Take that out. Another one. Miss. Another miss. You above me? He might be. Yep, there he is. Oh. Ooh, an assault mech. Awesome. Triple PPC. I'm gonna hit my own people, so. Move. Corsair is trying to stay in front of me so I can hit him in the back. Alright, let's, let's move around. I took heavy damage. Extremely heavy damage. What in the world is hitting me? Wow, nobody else has taken a single lick of damage. Oh, this game. Radio towers, I guess. Oh, that's an ugly mech. Come on, guys, take it out. Oh, come on, get out of my way. Alright, it's weaponless. Moving on. Let's go take out these radio towers and then move on. I've already taken so much damage. Might have to do this mission again, guys. Head to the next location. Get those radio towers. Ooh, 
Beck's dropping down straight over there somewhere. Headshot. Headshot. I'll take it, guys. That was some good shooting. There might be some salvage over here. Those look like the right kind of buildings. I'll go take a look. No, no salvage. Alright. Heading to the last location. Yikes. Okay. My arm. I'm about to lose my arm. I can't lose that Gauss rifle. We all know how I feel about that. Take him out, guys. I'm not going to even shoot. I'll shoot the tanks. But uh, I don't want to take aggro from the mech. Catapult. Side torso and an arm. Uh, they took it out. Awesome. Yeah, it landed again on the center torso. It's running away. be blocked by something or I was out of range oh you're kidding me oh man guys oh, I lost the Goss rifle you hate to see it I'm telling you, man, they all focused me no matter what. That's honestly one of the most frustrating things about, about this game. Um, you're surrounded by enemies. Surrounded, and you may not even be hitting all the targets, you're hitting one target, but everything will focus you, everything on the map, all the tanks, all the helicopters, uh, all the enemy mechs. It seems like sometimes all it takes is one good shot from you and then everybody's on you, no matter what. Uh, and you just end up losing all the stuff you worked hard for. I can't I can't um, afford to give up that tier 4 Gauss rifle. It's just too good. Like That's part of the whole point of the game is playing to get that stuff. That was a good shot. You know what I mean? So giving that up is just kind of like, it feels really bad.
Don't want to give it up. Don't want to lose the tier 4 Goss Rifle. You know, after this mission, guys, I think I'm going to be... Nah, see, then it's got the same problem. Just because one Goss Rifle's in the torso doesn't mean I can't lose a tier 4 Goss Rifle in the arm. The Corsair does have a torso mount for the Goss Rifle, but it also still has one in the arm. So the same thing could happen in the Corsair. Same problem. To be honest, the best Goss Rifle sniper mech um, that you don't mind the arms getting shot off is the Cyclops Hero Mech. The one I was talking about a couple episodes. Uh, I saw it briefly but couldn't afford it. It was 30 million C bills. So the mechs that have heavy auto cannon hard points in the torso, uh, those are the ones that you want. my guys down ahead of me I think get down there guys Surrounded, but doing my best. This is a thunderbolt I had shot last time. Headshot. This thing is easy to hit. Oh, come on. Big miss. Big miss again. Again, taking lots of damage. About to lose the arm again. Don't know how to prevent it, guys. Hopefully I don't lose the arm again, guys. That would feel bad. Okay. I'm gonna go destroy this radio tower that I know is just kinda hanging out outside the base. And then we're gonna go back the other direction. I think that's it. I 
think I might know how to do this mission better in the future to where I'm not taking quite as much damage. I think um, I travel down the ramp, right? There's a ramp over there. I travel down just a little bit to trigger everything to start chasing me, and then I go back up and we fight them up on the plateau, and they have to come to us. That might work a little better. Okay, time to get out of here, guys. I want to keep my Gauss rifles. Nice shot. Alright. That's a lot of air power to take down. Let's get out of here. Shoot as we leave. I saw a mech headed this way. I think it was the uh, color and catapult. It did a lot of damage at range. And it's got a range of over a thousand. So. Yeah, let's just. Let's just get out of here. Oh, there it is. Go ahead, take it out, guys. Pick it out. That was a sending torso shot. One more of those and it's down. Like that. Okay. Let's get out of here. I got off one shot on the Cyclops. He's lost a medium laser and another one's almost gone. Almost lost that arm, basically. At least it wasn't the LB-10 arm. Right? No, he's got medium lasers in the arms, right? The LB-10... The double LB-10... is in his torso. When I have the uh, ability to load it up with two LB-10s. Was that the victor? No, never mind. I think? No, there is a mech that's only running one LB-10, but it could be running two. It might be the Cyclops. The victor has two LB-10s in the arm. But I didn't bring the victor on this mission. Three million sea bells. We could just get the whole thunderbolt right there. Oh man, look at that! Look at that, guys. 
Yes, I wish I had more salvage shares so I could just purchase these right up. Tier 4 weapons on that thing. Uh, I would never use the LRM-15 because it doesn't have Artemis and it's missing the large laser, but I mean, tier 4 medium lasers are still good. And it's worth a bit of money. I mean, see bills. Uh, what to do? What to do? I think I'll just go ahead and get it. It'll sell for quite a bit, and I can keep those medium lasers. So, alright. Last part. Stop the launch, part four. It's time to end Stanz's reign of terror. Loki agents have tracked Stanz's jump ship to the summer system. Our records show that his family owns land there in a remote area. Due to the severity of the threat, we're throwing as many of our troops at him as we can, including the 5th Liren guards, but we need all available arms. Drop into the battle, join the assault, and take out Stans. But be careful. Stans is an experienced pilot, and we're, we've received reports that he's in control of a one-of-a-kind battle mech. Yeah, I want that battle mech. That's why I'm doing this mission, guys. I think we're going to go ahead and do that before we end this episode. It's going to be a longer episode, but you guys are here primarily to watch those hero campaign missions, correct? Let's go ahead and get it done. Uh, where on the star map are we going? Right there. Let's go here, repair, and then move back. You can move over there. I don't really have any large lasers or LM15s with Artemis or high tier LB10s, so can't really improve his build. His build's already maxed with the highest tier weapons I got. This guy lost a medium laser, but I can load him up with better lasers. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got enough tier 4 medium lasers now. We've got 14 of them, so I can spare some really high tier weapons for him. Uh, we do not have... Let's see what else we got for auto cannons here. That's nice. So is this. But that's also pretty heavy. Very heavy. Let's see what I can do. I don't even need to use those missiles. They're not doing me much good, I don't think. Five tons over. And all we're running in this is the four medium lasers and the two auto cannons. That's not very good. Let's get rid of that. We're going to give you the tier 4 AC-10 because it's a tier 4. And maybe this? Yeah. That ought to be some good DPS. And they're high tier enough to where I feel like it's worth it. 8 tons or 8 tons. If I was piloting the mech, I might be tempted to run the heavy rifle and try to snipe stuff with it. Hmm. Uh, I'll give him the AC-5 burst fire. Okay. Now we just need ammo. We don't need those heat sinks because we're not pushing very much heat. Um, we also don't need all this armor in the legs because... Nothing in the legs. We don't need this armor in the center torso. There. 
Let's see. AC-10 ammo, you get 40 shots. That's not very many. took off a lot of heat but these are all pushing less heat than normal because they're tier 4 all weapons are using less heat so it's more heat efficient uh, meaning we don't need as much heat or we don't need as much heat management we're not running the SRMs instead we're running two tier 4 auto cannons one that's only 8 tons and one that's 12 tons I wish I could run two of the heavier auto cannons in here I just can't afford the tonnage so tempting if I had it but oh well I think this is what we're gonna go with we're just trying to improve the tiers of weapons on our builds okay let's go back and take them out part four here we go I forgot to check the double heat sinks, didn't I, guys? Oh well. Salvage. Let's do it. So he's running four medium lasers, uh, an AC 10, and an AC 5 burst fire. It's not the best mech. I should probably look to replace it with something better. But it has a Guardian, Guardian ECM, which is why I like taking it. I wonder how much it's helping. It's hard to tell, but I imagine I'd be taking even more damage if I didn't have it with me. Starting off right in the right in the combat. Look, there's an enemy mech right up there. Oh, nice side torso hit. Took out the whole side. Great, we're going up against the cannons, guys. You know how much we love those. Come on. Got him. Alright. We need to go take out those cannons. They are all the way up on the ridges. We're going to start heading off that way. We are just right in the thick of it. Way to start off with the action in this mission, huh? shot all over the place. That is a Marauder 2. Yikes. I 
evaded that damage. There's one down. everything you can't see anything Capture the warhead. Nice. Okay, let's see if I can hit some of these things with my gauss rifles. That's a hit. Alright, they're all taken out. Nice. Maybe now I can focus on the enemy mechs and whatnot. That was a leg shot? That's not what I want. I don't want to hit you in the legs. Okay, I'll take the ejection. And I'm taking lots of damage. Guys, pull some aggro for me. I'm going to go hide behind this building. Take him out, take him out. Gunning for me. Well, my Corsair is taking some damage. I gotta get back in the fight. Okay, here he is. What is he piloting? Oh, he's in King Crab. Whoa, four UAC fives. Yikes. Oh man, he's gonna take out my Corsair. He's gonna do it fast. Yikes. Come on, take him out, guys. Got him. Oh, my Corsair's going down, guys. There's a walking skeleton at this point. Oh, where is he? Yep, there he is. Oh man, I lost both both cost rifles and the SRM6. The SRM-6 was, uh, Tier 4, I believe. That's unfortunate.
This is definitely the most difficult mission in the game so far. This has been... And I spoke too soon. Alright, guys. Oh, we're going to try it again. This is going to be a long episode. But, given that this is the most difficult mission in the game that I've encountered so far, I think it's worth it to keep it in the same episode and just keep trying. Actually, second that, we gotta, I forgot about an appointment I've gotta go to, so we're gonna have to end it here, you guys will see me try this again in the next episode, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.